As most of you guys know that follow our social and uh, YouTube channels, we've been working on a ton of AI projects, ranging from massive boxes of H100s all the way down to the smallest of GPUs that have a variety of use cases in the data center and out at the edge. But one thing that is a continual struggle is getting high-speed storage next to workstations. These three ThinkStations over my right shoulder here are all really great systems. They're all configured a little bit differently and they have different GPUs in them. But one thing they have in common is getting a lot of high-speed storage in these boxes is really, really difficult. And even if you can do it, it's very expensive to isolate the storage in each one of these boxes. So to get these systems high-speed storage, we came up with an idea, and that was to configure this 1U E1S Supermicro server with 24 Keoxia XD7P SSDs and share them to these systems. 100 gig NICs in all of those, 100 gig fabric, 100 gig here, and that lets us get 10 gig a second of these SSDs to each one of these systems individually. Now we just spun this up with three systems, but you could do this with three or eight or 10 or whatever you could support with your fabric and the workloads and the, the storage available in this system. And then for even more fun, we put an A2 in the back of this system and that lets us do inferencing on the data that's already here, that's being trained by these workstations with Alpaca and, uh, and Llama and keeping the data locality in this system and doing the inferencing on the same data without having to move anything around. So overall, this was a really neat thing. We did this paper in October last year. We'll link to that in the comments. So one thing that's really great about this system is the density. This is, uh, like I said, it's a one use system. We can fit 24 of these Kyoxia drives across the front. It's actually pretty interesting. They ship in a tray like this. We ended up having uh, a few extras left over. So the uh, extra tray of SSDs is uh, a beautiful visual accompaniment. Um, but these are the E1S form factor. They have the EDSFF connector on them. And this is really what we're seeing is the next generation of enterprise and hyperscale storage. In fact, you'll see this connector on a bunch of different drive form factors, E3S for more mainstream enterprise servers, and these E1S guys more for hyperscale servers. When we put 24 of these drives in here, we're getting 24 times 7.68 terabytes. So we're getting a really good footprint but we're also getting the computational power of each one of these drives. These are TLC drives that can deliver quite a bit of performance and then aggregate it across 24. In box, we're seeing tremendous results with overall bandwidth. Even as fast as these drives are, when we put in 100 gig fabric here, it's sort of limiting. So when we use these three systems with 100 gig NICs on it, they're only getting 10 gig a second only, which is uh, faster than the internal drives, but still not as fast as what this system can do with the drives local to the CPUs. So that really got us to thinking, what else could we do that requires the performance and capacity that these Keoxia drives offer, the computational power that the CPUs offer, and the benefit of keeping them all within the box without having to share them over the fabric, introducing a bunch of latency. In this case, we don't even really need GPUs. We're just looking for the computational power of the CPU and the benefits of the storage adjacent to each other. So what's interesting in a, uh, in a funny twist of fate, Jordan was already going down this path with all sort of mathematic concepts. You guys know we like to compute pi, that's one of our favorites, but there's plenty more constants and other math functions that are really interesting that when you pair this amount of CPU and storage together, the whole world of mathematics changes. And in a weird twist of fate, we actually had a mathematician reach out to us that has a really interesting angle on how to make certain formulas better, faster, and uh, they have the potential to change mathematics. Now this is far too nerdy for me. So I'm gonna bring in Jordan to have him tell you about what the power that these Keoxia storage drives can do, the Intel CPUs, the combination of those, and the impact that that can have on mathematics and some of the fundamental research that we're unlocking with this platform specifically right now. So let's take a quick break from our super fast storage and our super fast Intel SSDs real quick and talk about some of the work we did offline outside the storage. Jorge used an application called Pari GP, which comes out of the University of Bordeaux in France, and it's for finding different mathematical constant pairs. So when we're calculating different mathematical pairs, you'll use two different pairs of uh, integers to do the actual calculation. This is a little further deep than I'm used to going into this sort of stuff, but there's a great post on Math Overflow that you can check out. We'll link it in the description here here that describes how this stuff works. This has applications across a wide number of fields ranging from cryptography to simulations 
to financial trading algorithms. We use this Lenovo uh, Think system here, uh, as well as a couple others, and we were able to run some search algorithms that would try and basically brute force all of these number pairs together to find the more, most efficient ones. We initially started searching for some Zeta 5 stuff, that work is still ongoing, but what we ended up switching to in order to get some success in the near term was looking for log two and log three constant pairs. We had almost near immediate success on this. Jorge was able to leverage our Threadripper 5995WX and a fair amount of RAM to go ahead and brute force these pairs. We used those 64 cores, trying different number pairs around the clock. Not quite at random, there was some methodology to it, but ultimately we were able to find a new pair for log two and log three that helped double the number of known digits from one and a half trillion up to three trillion digits and do it in a significantly less amount of time. That, that record is where we bring in our really fast Keoxia storage and our really fast Intel processors. So when we're doing our Y-Cruncher calculations, as you know, undoubtedly seen of our Pi, Pi records and our number of other constant records that we have up on Y-Cruncher, we're really trying to balance a few things in the system. As you start to do calculations that are so far out of what's available in the system memory, and we still had like a terabyte of DRAM in this system of some really fast DDR5, you have to start to rely on storage after you run out of DRAM. These calculations can use multiple terabytes and even sometimes pushing a petabyte such as our pi computation in order to complete the multiplication that's required. Being able for the CPU to swap information from the system memory out to the storage as quick as possible is what can help minimize that wait time. So we designed the system to be as efficient as possible. We had 24 of these and we had them in an array of RAID 0. The reason we used RAID 0 here is because we did want the speed increase, we didn't necessarily need the redundancy. And in doing that, specifically for our log two record, we were able to take the one and a half trillion record, which took a number of days prior, I think it was above 60 days for that computation, we were able to do it in just about 36 hours initially. Part of the reason we were able to do it so fast is we had a perfectly balanced system of our CPU to disk throughput. So across all 24 drives, we were able to push almost 100 gigabytes a second out of the DRAM through the CPU. And then remember, that's across 24 drives and it was all in a one U chassis. So you can see why I'd rather have Jordan explain that than me, even though I took a little nap during his, uh, his ranting and ravings on mathematics and computational power. It still brings home the overall solution and what can be done in a dense one U box like this. We're super happy to have been able to work with uh, Supermicro, Intel, and Keoxia on this project and Lenovo for the earlier one. We think the opportunities here for, for research are, are fantastic. And we look forward to contributing to uh, not only mathematics research, spatial research, contributions to the HPC world, and all of these other things. But again, the uh, Keoxia E1S super dense drives, a big part of that. We'll have a full paper on what this means for mathematics up, and we'll link to that in the uh, show description as well. So thanks for tuning in and look forward to much more of this kind of research and development out of the storage view lab.